Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna to show how do we provision an Oracle autonomous database and to add. So let's begin. So, but before I start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and click on a bell icon to get such an amazing content directly in your inbox. So let's begin now. The objective of this video is to assist you in provisioning your first autonomous database. If you have not provisioned the ADP, let's explore this and see how do we provision ADP database and understand all those configuration that we need to do to create or provision an autonomous database. So first of all, of course, you must have a OCI tenancy in place. If you don't have, you have to create a tenancy or you, if, if your administrator have it, you can get access of the same tenancy. Okay, so I'm assuming you already have the access of it. So click on this hamburger menu and from that menu, click on a Oracle database and then you have this overview autonomous database. So you can provision uh, autonomous database like autonomous data warehouse, JSON database, or autonomous transaction processing. So there are three types of workloads that can be chosen from your autonomous database section. So let me click on an autonomous database. So when you choose it, you will be rendered on this screen and you have to choose the compartment in which you would like to create a, a autonomous database. Let's click on this create autonomous database. You have to choose the compartment in which you would like to provision your database, select it. The name, it can be a user-friendly name. It can be anything, let's say, my test ATP or let's say ATP DB. And then here is your database name. Database name is like your service name or your SID. It can be anything of your choice. Let's say DAB ATP. And then here we have a section of workload type. The workload type depends what kind of uh, workload you would like to run on your autonomous database. So if you are building that database for your warehouse requirement, so we, you will use this data warehouse. If you have a OLTP kind of requirement, you will choose transaction processing. If you would like to store your JSON data in your autonomous database, you can use JSON. And if you are only creating this autonomous database for your low code development, which is Apex, you can use Apex. But when you use Apex, it will have a limited feature of database. It's not like you will have everything. So for now, I will choose transaction processing. And then there's a choose our deployment type. So autonomous database uh, can be your uh, deployment type can be of two types. One is called serverless, where your autonomous database will run on a shared infrastructure. But sometimes customer, customers want to have that dedicated infrastructure, which is only for them. But of course, that will cost you more. So it depends on your requirement. You can either choose serverless or dedicated. That serverless will have a less cost. Then third section is configure the database. So by default, it says always free. So Oracle free tier gives you to provision two autonomous database absolutely free, but with a limited capacity. When I say limited capacity, you can only have one CPU and 20 GB storage, and there's no OCPU auto scaling option available. There is no storage auto scaling option available. So you cannot leverage the complete capability of autonomous database. The only thing you don't need to pay it, but of course you have to use it in a, in a less resource. So, but when you disable this checkbox, then here you can see all are enabled, but you should have a credits in your tenancy to use it. But if you are in the 30 days trial period, you can create the autonomous database. But if you are not, you are not liable to create a, a, a paid database. So let's use this always free. Okay. Choose the database version. It can be 19C or 21C. The CPU count is not enabled. Storage is not enabled. OCPU auto scaling is not enabled. Storage auto scaling is not enabled. And then create administrator credentials. So by default, it will create a super user for you, which is called admin. And then you have to enter the password of it. Let me enter any password of my choice and then confirm password. 
and then choose network access type. So in the network access type, there are three types of uh, access type you will see. One is secure access from everywhere, meaning that autonomous database will be deployed on the public and you can access it from everywhere. But sometimes customer only want to access this ATP from a trusted sources. So if yes, then you can enable this. And then here you can give the CIDR block of the IPs. It can be your VCN. It can be your OSID of VCN. But, but try to understand, it will be again your public database. You are only doing a allowed listing. This private endpoint access is only for paid one. So you can see private endpoint access for that you have to choose your VCN and then subnet, meaning your autonomous database will be deployed in the private network of Oracle and will not have access from internet, okay? But this option is only available for paid databases. So let me disable this again. And let's use this secure access from everywhere for now. And then choose license and Oracle database addition. So here there are two type of license type exists. One is called BYOL, where customer already have the database licenses and then they can utilize the same. If not, they can use this license include option and you can create it and simply say create autonomous database. So as soon as it is, it is as soon as your autonomous database is created, it will be available for you and you can start using it. And also you can see since we have created it as always free, it will be marked as always free. Go back and let's wait for a couple of minutes and we'll show you. And you can see the state is available and you can start using it. You can start creating tables, you can start creating PL SQL packages and everything. So this is how you can create autonomous database on OCI absolutely free. I hope you find this video useful. If yes, please like, comment and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get such an amazing content on a regular basis. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Pinterest for regular updates. Thank you. Bye-bye.